While browsing by E, I found this deal for an unconfirmed Sony MZN1 and Victor XM C11. This is still one of my favorite Sony mini disc devices, and I didn't have a blue one. It's got a nice control scheme with a jog dial and multifunction lever. The open switch is a slider to prevent opening it while removing it from the dock. You'll see the dock connector at the bottom, which was required for the USB NetMD connection. Unfortunately for a flagship, these were known for right head cable failures. Here's my silver one for comparison. Both look nice, but the blue seems rarer. With unconfirmed units, you'll want to check power first. I already cleaned the battery door with vinegar and alcohol. So let's try a gumstick battery. See that? Let's try again. I thought I saw it power on. There, it's definitely on. But look where it turns on, way before the door is actually closed. The latch didn't even engage. We'll go back and troubleshoot that, but if internal power doesn't work, test externally with a battery pack or AC adapter. That way, through the process of elimination, you'll know the device works, but could just need cleaning for internal battery parts. Everything's fine with the sidecar, so let's get back to troubleshooting that door. Looking to see if anything is bent or stuck in there. Look at that gap. The door is definitely bent. You can see it here as well. The case is so light because it's magnesium, so it can bend a little bit, but not too much before breaking. Let's try a gentle, slow bend. A bit better, let's test. It still engages a bit early. As you can see, the door still isn't closed. Looking again for anything bent or stuck. Let's take the lid off for a better look. Just two screws on each side. It will hinge open from the bottom. Be careful about that thin ribbon cable. I'll get something to support it. Not too bad, but let's do some cleaning with alcohol. First the lens, then other parts. We're looking out for dust, lint, hair, or even old lubricant that has dried up. Here, I'm cleaning the rail and gear shaft in case there's old lubricant or debris there. It's not the cause of the problem, but it's still dirty.
Let's close it up and test. If we line up the lid correctly, we can test first. Still a bit of a gap. Let's do one more gentle bend. There we go. Power on right at closure. Gap is mostly gone. Let's close it up. Again, just those four screws. Let's test with a disc. How about Paul Oakenfold's Transport this time? A Trans Classic. You can spin the jog dial to select a track, then push in to select. Looks good. Game Master 99 by Lost Tribe, a classic. Pushing in the jog dial gets you to a menu where you can select options, like sound. The lever lets you play, pause, stop, and forward reverse. Volume controls on the left. Still a small gap, but I'm okay with it since it's working properly. I later confirmed that it also records properly. You can't win them all when buying unconfirmed or junk devices, but some are easy fixes, like this one. Even if I don't fix that Victor one, this is well worth the $47. FYI, there are modern dock replacements seen here. One allows for a USB-C connection to power and connect to your PC. The other one does that and has a small battery. Get them from at MDGadgetry on Instagram or message me if you have any questions.